Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Here we go, three cards. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling as a block, restraint, quite the opposite on an energy level, twin flames, well, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other three extremely interesting energies let's see what the tarot has to say about them and we are ready so your energies guys seven of cups the star three of wands fulfilling expectations your person's energies knight of wands five of pentacles justice major arcana meeting energies ace of pentacles hierophant focus moon major arcana and the tower this person is facing a uh, completion about a previous situation not ideal uh, codependent obsession possession controlling as a block restraint key elements about a narrow-minded vision of life five of pentacles related they may have been dealing with a player individual and they were called to manifest their own justice the tower is the price to pay this is the crumbling down of a connection it is fair to say that it can even be something that some of you may have gone through in the past because the tower for me is the path to the star and the star shows indeed up in the flow of the energies victory uh, success triumph moving forward for the warrior that comes back from the battle victorious this is quite an encouragement for the two of you, maybe you have similar experiences. The moon in the focus, it's about a couple of things. The first one, the discomfort that this person needs to face in order to restore fairness and balance in their life by closing a situation that was not meant to be, was not a positive uh, enough to be justified basically and considering the twin flames energy it can be a factor because maybe this person um, was called needed to learn something important uh, in the journey and this can be an opportunity to fulfill uh, a major challenge in order to um, to graduate on an energy level, allow me to say, when it comes to awareness, wisdom, knowledge. The justice for me is a fair and fair exchange um, that can bring balance in favor of an interaction so that the persons involved can be satisfied. The Knight of Wands here is uh, just a player, uh, but it's not about this person. They were dealing with someone inconsistent, hot and cold, unable to be focused. The Knight of Wands sometimes just uh, pays the price to be associated to these energies, but the Five of Pentacles is about shaky grounds. That's why the Tower. Narrow-minded vision of life, lacking resources, a lack mentality, a thinking small. But if this person is indeed involved 
in the uh, Twin Flames journey, they have aspirations that cannot match with the Five of Pentacles player type of partner, a call for justice, which is the right and fair decision in order to move towards Ace of Pentacles Hierophant, and that's why the moon is a discomfort, a fear factor. Then the moon is also something yet to be revealed, yet to be discovered, and this is the partnership with some of you. Seven of Cups choices, guys, allow me to say, opportunities, scenarios, interactions, um, options even, but it is a matter of fulfilling expectations because of the Three of Wands, a soulful energy, a spiritual energy, this man is willing to embrace a standby mode, a patient approach, he is waiting for the sun to come up, for the ships to come in with all their treasures, because he has set his intentions in a very clear way and he has thrown them out into the universe, counting on the fact that the universe will deliver on his wishes. This can even be a process for some of you that uh, has unfolded itself in a certain amount of time. This man is also willing to put in the work in order to facilitate the higher level of manifestation and the star is about being transparent, honest, truthful. It is an energy about a wish granted. For some of you, the opportunity to interact with a person that is able, even thanks to the experiences, to um, offer Ace of Pentacles and Hierophant energies that can match your ability to manifest these energies, this is quite a chance. Talk about powering through the tower, maybe in slightly different ways or fashions, but kind of kind of fulfilling the same goal the two of you the lady in the star card completely naked in front of the universe she doesn't care she's amazing she knows how to recognize the opportunities that are in alignment with her desires there is honesty there is truth there is hope hope for the future why not talk about uh, a bright future, Ace of Pentacles, Minor Arcana for the Sun. Happiness, fulfillment and satisfaction indeed, especially for some of you, with the opportunity to meet and match expectations and aspirations. Brand new beginning, major cornerstone in favor of this person also, because if they have left behind a shaky connection, powering through the tower, now there is the chance to set solid foundations. Kind of going with the quote from the Robin Hood movie, the one uh, with um, Russell Crowe and Kate Blanchett. If you are trying to build for the future, you must set your foundations strong. Ace of Pentacles, Hierophant Energy. Powering through the gateway within the Ace of Pentacles in order to pursue new horizons, a new way of life, a new way of doing things, strengthened by the experiences because of the Hierophant, which is about lessons, plus spiritual energy, also this one, but extremely practical at the same time. We have the two pillars involved, solid foundations. And the Hierophant for me is about choices. How can we manifest a goal that can be stable, reliable, grounded, that can stand the test of time? This can even be a desire to pursue a marriage, even in an old fashioned way. You can be successful because basically there is the chance to achieve fairness, six of pentacles, uh, avoiding the woman up, woman down dynamic that I usually mention. It was here in the Knight of Wands, five of pentacles. And at the bottom of the Six of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Cups, which can be the romantic gesture in favor of the new connection. So, it's kind of encouraging, to be honest, this flow. Because, for some of you, it's an opportunity that deserves attention among multiple interactions, maybe uh, involved in the everyday life. But this can... Um, meet expectations and then there is trust that can be nurtured and 
as I usually say, when there is trust, love can grow. For this person, it's about releasing even unhealthy uh, connections of the past, uh, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, all factors that were blocks, obstacles. And this process overall is an opportunity to uh, fulfill the ascending oracle card, transcending obstacles, learning lessons, expansion, new phase, ace of pentacles, brand new beginning, preparing for union, chance to be together. This can be a stage in a twin flames journey for um, two souls called to embrace the task. Let's pull a couple of oracle cards, guys, for guidance, considering these energies. All that glitters. All that glitters is not gold. A facade ab about a situation that was not ideal. The moon is about a facade, a, a veil of illusion and confusion. We need to be brave to dive deeper into the understanding of something that can be a source of discomfort, but at the same time, the opportunity to discover factors and answers that can be extremely important um, in order to be successful moving forward. TikTok, a matter of time. Time is ticking for the completion that this person needs to face in order to embrace the auspicious energy that can be about the connection with some of you guys. To be fair, bottom of the deck, beautiful confirmation of the Justice Major Arcana, which is a major factor. Truth and clarity are involved. This is indeed a right and fair decision blessed with truth and clarity for this person. And you may like their approach even. Fork in the road, it's a, a major choice, a crossroads, leaving behind something that was not uh, fulfilling in order to embrace a chance that is on a completely different level. You may have faced your own crossroads and you have embraced the star power. Even if it was required also um, a standby, a patient approach. But this can be a reward. Improving health, absolutely. For this person, 100%. You are shining bright in the star energy, but maybe this connection also going with the twin flames type of energy can be a chance to bring your talents, your qualities to a higher level together. Meditation brings answers, kind of the best possible approach to deal with the moon or with the seven of cups. Why not as an overwhelming energy of the mind sometimes communicate clearly. This person will communicate clearly in order to close the previous situation, the one that was not healthy. And then clarity will help the two of you to understand how to manifest your connection. It's up to you. It's an encouragement to the two of you guys. You can make this happen. It's a lovely chance. And I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.